So I went on into work that morning, went, uh, proofread the journal, took the journal up to the House parliamentarians, went back down to my office, collected the journal book, which is a huge book that's bound in leather, um, hand-bound still by the government printing office, with marbled edges, a very beautiful book. And that went up with me every morning to the House floor. And it was in that book that I wrote, and the other journal clerks wrote, those events that took place on the House floor that were purely parliamentary in nature. So I opened the book, and Speaker Pro Tempore Johnson of Illinois gaveled us into session. About 15 minutes into the session, and this was a place, uh, there were only two members on the floor for morning hour debate. It was very quiet. There were very few other staff members there, and that was not unusual for morning hour. I heard somebody calling my name to my left, and down just below the dais was Teresa Austin, who was then a bill clerk, now is one of the tally clerks of the house, and she was beckoning me to come down quickly that she had something had happened. When I got down to the floor level of the house floor, she told me that something had happened in New York, and we went around behind the seats to the Democratic cloakroom, which was nearest to where I was sitting. And everyone was huddled around the cloakroom and watching the result of the plane having flown into the first tower. And of course, it was terrifying, and we were all commenting on it. And as we stood there watching, the second plane went in. That put the whole Democratic cloakroom into a whole different mode, because clearly this was not a coincidence. I left the cloakroom, went back around to the dais, and told the House parliamentarian, John Sullivan, who was on duty that morning, that something really wrong was happening in New York. He subsequently whispered to the Speaker pro tempore, who recessed the House at, I believe, 9.22. But still, this was an event that was dreadful and horrendous, but it was happening in New York. So as was my custom, I left the journal book on the rostrum at my desk in the rostrum, locked my drawer, and went on downstairs to my office in the basement level of the Capitol building until such time as the bells were to ring for attendance in the house for business at quarter to ten.